Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, where we carry the largest selection of wood flowers in the United States. Welcome back to another tutorial. And this tutorial, we're just gonna craft to craft. I don't know what I'm saying. Anywho, <laughs> what just came out of my mouth? Did you guys hear that? Because I'm still confused. <sighs> Today's tutorial. We're going to play with some new supplies that uh, just dropped over on the site. I'm stinking excited about these. Um, I've been obsessed lately with mushrooms and kind of like fairy gardens and gnomes and things like that. So because of that, we, um, Maggie curated this amazing assortment that is just fairy woodland garden, like, to the, to the tens. I don't even know what I'm saying, but it's so stinking cute. And it's another one of those assortments where we have some little extra things in the assortment that I'm stinking excited to show you. So I'm going to show you those in the supplies. We also have a new greenery, and I think we're going to make a... Oh, a fairy garden-esque kind of piece to be like on a tabletop because today it is rainy and stormy and I just want to craft to craft and I think this would be a super fun project to do on a rainy day so let's jump into it shall we? The first supply needed is our magical woodland assortment. These are just few, a few of the flowers that come in that assortment. It's a beautiful mix of pinks and purples, greens, and a couple of daisies in there. I know daisies aren't our color, but you know. Then it also comes with these faux moss rocks. Two different types of little itty bitty mushrooms. Stop it. Some acorns and little pine cones. Oh, such a cute little assortment. We also are going to be using the Fern Eucalyptus Mix. This is a brand new greenery also on the site as this is being filmed. I'm going to throw in some extra moss into this particular piece. Some wood slices. And then a lantern I have that came from Aldi's a couple years ago now. It's in my stash. So the first thing that I did was I already glued the two pieces of wood together. I want it to create like a step stool, or step stool, a step. You all know what I meant, right? And then I'm gonna put the lantern up on top. I made sure too that I didn't put this one up too far that it became completely top heavy and it's gonna fall, fall down. Um, for this particular project, I am not going to glue this in place because I want to be able to actually get to where the uh, little lantern itself is able to turn on and off. So I'm going to surround it with all of the things and I may glue some stuff onto the lantern itself, but I'll still be able to pick that up when needed and then put it right back into place. Um, so a lot of this is just going to be creative play, figuring out where we want things to live and be and then just glue them into place. So this is a real fun one to just relax and let the creative process do its thing. As I'm doing this, I'm like, maybe I put the moss in first versus at the end. Not, I'm not certain yet. So I'm gonna play a little bit. You'll see me do that. And, um, yeah, oh my gosh, this is gonna be so stinking cute. Okay, I'm gonna change camera angle so you can see better and so I'm not like crafting like this. And um, yeah, let's have fun with this.
there you have it guys, a lovely, magical, fairy garden-esque inspired piece. I did turn on the light, so it was easy to just remove this and then put it back into its spot when I want to turn off the light. Super stinking adorable. If you are watching this video shortly after this new assortment goes live, make sure to check that out again. It was it's called the Magical Woodland Assortment. And then the greenery is a fern eucalyptus mix. So check those out if you're interested. And if you're watching this years from now and the assortment is gone, I'm sorry. It is what it is. One thing to note about our assortments is we do make them in small exclusive batches. Once they're gone, they're gone. And very, very rarely do we re-bring it back or update it slightly. Um, it's a, a one and done for the most part with most of our assortments because that is how we like to do our creativity. We don't like to make the same thing over and over and over again. I'm sure some of you can understand that feeling. And so we really do enjoy making different types of assortments seasonally and just plain. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you get a chance to craft and just craft to craft. Sometimes it's a lot of fun to do. Um, and it is definitely craft therapy is really important to me. So if you're loving these videos, can't get enough, want to know when the next one goes live, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell to find out about the 150 style solo wood flowers along with craft supplies and greenery. Go to ohyourlovely.com. But before you go, hold up, I have something for you. Use the code YouTube30 to get 30% off your first order. All right, you guys have a lovely day. We'll see you next week right here for another tutorial. I'm Stephanie from Oh You're Lovely, and you, my friends, are absolutely lovely. Bye, guys.